Hi guys, welcome to Chantal's Tuesday Talk. Today my segment is about three things you must do if you never want to sell your home. What you like? Overprice your home. Okay, how do I say that? The market's great, right? Everybody say, hey, I can listen to the price and anybody can sell my home. And suddenly out of nowhere, I say, hey, how come I, uh, I put out on market and no one called me at all and I got no offer? Well, if you overpriced your home. And also, I, I give you an example. I had a client, um, the house is in the neighborhood, it's about 100,000, just an example. You say, hey, I want to list 200,000. Yeah, but if nothing sold for 100,000, everything is like, uh, you think the people, buy? well, you never know. Because the market's good, people buy anything. Yes within reason. They will buy, but it over, over, like too much, I don't think so. Within reason, okay? Not anything can happen, but of course, if it's within reason. Second, dirty home. If you have a dirty home, like what, pile, messy, and I give me an example. I went to a house yesterday, good thing for the mass, okay? Back in the day, you put on the mat, they say you're insulting me, right? But nowadays, put on a mat, you save yourself. The house, the carpet, it was so dirty, and not only that, feces, urine, cat urine. I couldn't breathe. I'm about to throw up. I'm going like, Oop. and I put on my mask to take myself and my clients. Like, what's going on? Can you see how you breathe this? I'm gonna die. I mean, I've kind of actually choked myself. And people, please, the agent did not tell them, please, you need to rip the rug or do something. You walk in, you want to walk right out, right out. I tell you, I was sweating to thinking about right now. I'll throw up myself. And can't view property. A lot of clients I have, like a, a rental home. Hey, Chantal, they, um, the tenant is in there, and uh, uh, they they willing to work. Well, they're not cooperating. Every time we make an appointment to see the property, they uh, the tenant will give all kind of excuses. Oh, somebody's sick in the family, somebody caught a COVID, and can't see today, and there's no way you can't see the house. Mm -hmm. Then what you can do? You can't sell the house. You see? That's crazy. You can't view the house. How are you gonna buy the house? My tenants. Uh huh. Tenants. The tenants. You need to get rid of the tenants, right? Or else tell them to cooperate with you. Oh, you know, make things happen because that's what happened. It's best of all, no tenants. So that house end up. I couldn't sell it. My clients say, hey, Chantal, I just got to wait until they move out and then I'll put it on market and sell it, okay? And there you go. Overpriced, dirty, smelly home, bad, bad smell, okay? Can't view the darn house. You can't get in at all. There you go. So this is what you do. Market's good, but you got to do these things or you're never going to sell your home. Well, anywho, I am looking for a good Vietnamese bilingual agent to join the team. Please go to, uh, if you have questions, you can private message me or go to joinremax.com or slash Remax Alliance H-O-U. Okay guys, um, there. Thanks for watching, like, comment, and share, and remember, I am raising 50,000 this year. Last year, remember, I raised more than $15,000 for the homeless. Thank you guys for supporting me. And go to Houston and my referral. Thank you all my past and present, my lifetime. Send the referral to helpinghoustonhomeless.com and I'll list you out. If I can't sell in 60 days, I'll sell it for free. Okay guys, till then, next Tuesday. Have an awesome week.